The next thing we want to do is um, drag the brick layer of the, ex of the top wall down to here. Or we could grab the brick layer from the bottom wall and pull it up either way. So in order to do that, we need to unlock that layer of the wall. Watch, we're going to pick on this wall. And we're going to say edit type. We're going to make sure we have the section view on our preview um, set up here. We're going to click in, zoom down. And I'm going to say edit the structure. And I'm going to use the modify tool here, modify. And I'm going to pick the bottom edge here. Watch, pick. Uh, modify, pick. And there's a lock. I'm just going to unlock it, which means I can go whoop and I can pull that down. That's it. Okay. And okay. And I'm done. Now what happens is there's a new property on here called um, base extension. That wasn't there until I unlocked that layer. Okay. So what I can do now is I can say base extension is minus 250. Oops. Minus 250. Boom. And it'll go down by 250. See how I did that? Now I can do them all at once. Pick on here, one, using my control button, pick on all of these guys and say base extension minus 250. And that'll only extend the brick down. Click out. Okay. Let's go to that cross section we created earlier. Open it up here. Double click on the cross section. And zoom in. We can see there's our new brick layer that came down into here. And did that. That this I'm not sure what this is in here. It's a bit of a an anomaly, but um, oh, you know what we need to do? I think we need to make that airspace the same way. Yes, we do. So let's click on here, add a type, structure, click in, zoom in, hit the modify tab again, and pick on this guy. Unlock this guy too. Hit OK. What happens now is the airspace will also get dragged down. TL on the keyboard, thin lines, TL, TL, okay? And we can wor worry about that seam line later. Now, in my section, I'm going to click on this crop region and pull this guy up, okay? Here's my section. Pick on here. Pull this guy over. Pan, click, and all the way over. There we go. Now, I can grab the crop region. And I can turn the crop region off here. Click, turn off the crop region. Not so bad. Go to my 3D view. SD on the keyboard for shaded mode. Okay, shaded mode, SD. And there's my exterior walls and my second floor. And next we'll come back. And I think we'll add in the roof for the garage building over here and the main building over here. And I think what we're going to do is let's trim these two because I think this is going to just get trimmed with that. Okay, we'll have to have a beam over top of there, which is fine. Or we can have a separated wall, but it's not going to be a brick wall. It's going to be probably a concrete wall separating the garage from the main floor. So a little bit of cleanup with our uh, brick uh, wall extensions. And we also want to make sure we do our save as project and lesson 10. There we go.